We proceed to the installation of the wind turbines. The company that makes it happen is Windhoist Turbine Erection Experts. Hi, my name is Emmett Leeson. I'm site manager for Windhoist. We are responsible for the craneage and installation of 32 N90 gamma turbines for Nordex in Cougar Wind Farm here in Oyster Bay. The first step in the process of installing the turbines is to get our cranes into position. Um, we start off by choosing the correct crane pad which we liaise with Nordex, the sequence of turbines on which they want to put up first. And then we pick the, the, the safest, quickest route for rigging the cranes. We position our cranes as per our drawings from our technical team, if we're lucky, if the weather's with us and the conditions are right, four hours to um, rig the cranes. Well, the main crane being used here is an LTM 1500 8.1. The small crane is an LTM 1250. The capacity for that configuration is 58 tonne. It's got a 47.3 metre main boom and a 42 metre luffer on it as it's built. When the cranes are rigged, the transport team starts bringing in the base tower, which is the first component to be lifted. We get it into position so it's within radius of our cranes. Um, we, firstly, we attach the main crane onto one end and attach the assist crane onto the other end. Once the base tower is lifted off the trailer, the transport company pulls its lorry away and we position safety support stands underneath the tower so we can rest the turbine just above the ground so the guys can get in underneath to clean. Once the guys have cleaned the turbine and all the rust spots and any damage noted is repaired, we then start to lift the turbine. We lift the turbine using the main crane and the assist crane. It's called topping and tailing. which is you connect the big crane and the small crane onto the tower. The big crane takes the lift, the small crane tails the tower in under the big crane until the big crane has the full weight of the tower. It's topping and tailing to keep the two cranes working together. Once the tower is vertical, we release the assist crane. We then proceed to lift the tower for placement. We drop the base tower gently down over the bolts. We then proceed to rattle up the bolts to a thousand newton meters. We then send our technicians up top to release the crane. We repeat this process three more times for the remaining three tower segments. Okay, once we have the four tower sections in place, we proceed with the nacelle. First step within the cell is to remove the roof. We then lift the nacelle off the ground higher so the technicians can get in underneath to um, clean the base of the nacelle and also the yaw ring. We proceed to lift the nacelle 85 metres to the top of the fourth section. The banksmen up top will um, lower the nacelle onto the top section and proceed with bolting. Technicians will climb into the nacelle and release the slings. For a nacelle, the biggest problem for a nacelle would be wind. The nacelle, the shape of it, it's square, it's just like a square box. It catches a lot of wind, so wind would be the biggest issue there. We now proceed with lifting the drivetrain into place. Drivetrain weighs about 47 tonne. When the drivetrain is directly over the nacelle, the technicians will lower the drivetrain onto the nacelle frame and we'll start attaching the bolts. For the drivetrain, same thing, wind. We are moving it into the nacelle. Uh, it's very tight for space for men, so any wind causes a lot of movement in the drivetrain. The next step in the erection of the turbine is the erection of the hub. We start this process with the assist crane. The assist crane will remove the hub from the transport frame and then we will attach the main crane. The hub weighs roughly 30 tonne. We will then proceed to lift the, the hub with the main crane, again turning, turning the hub into position. Whenever the hub is turned into the correct position and the main crane is all the weight, we then remove the assist crane. We attach tag lines for control we then proceed to lift the 
the hub into place. Again, 85 meters, we're looking at 10 minutes. Okay. The next step is the installation of the blades. The first step with the blades is to insert the bolts on the ground. Once the technicians are happy that everything is in place, the banksman will signal to both crane drivers to proceed with the lift. The banksman will closely watch the blade and keep it level. Once the banksmen on top have visual of the blade, they will take over the lift. They will then bank the blade into position and attach the nuts. Once they have all the nuts attached, they will then release the main crane. They will then bank the assist crane off the tip of the blade. This is used by pulling down hard on a rope to release the sling. Once the sling is released, the assist crane will slew away from the blade. He is closely watched by the banksman up top. When both cranes are clear, they will then turn the rotor into position for the second blade. They will repeat the process for the second blade and then again for the third blade. When the third blade is installed, they will then remove the turning motor and reattach the roof.